Hi, my name's Zoe from Winchester Caravans and today we're going to show you how to use the Power Touch motor movers. In order to use your motor mover, you will need to make sure that you have your battery attached to the caravan. Next, you will need to locate the motor mover switch. In this caravan, it's located in the front locker under the seat. In some caravans, it will be located in the battery locker. You need to take this red key, which is in the box of um, goodies that come with your motor mover, pop it into the socket. There's only one way it will go in. Push it in and turn it all the way around till it clicks in. Now the power is turned on from the battery to the motor mover. With the manual motor mover, you should have a large bar like this that you use to engage the motor mover against the tyres. On the manual motor mover, you should see a spigot just here. That's where your bar attaches onto. Both the automatic and manual motor movers have these icons, a cross and a tick. The cross is yellow when the mover is not engaged. As you can see, it's not against the tyre. When the mover is fully engaged, the tick will then turn yellow. When attaching the bar to the motor mover, you push the bar in and you push it all the way in until the flat piece is fully into this groove. You shouldn't be able to see any silver on there. And then you turn the bar from the front of the caravan all the way to towards the back of the caravan and that will engage the roller against the tyre. When using an automatic motor mover, this is what you will see. As you can see, there is no spigot there. That's how we know it's an automatic motor mover, but it does have the icons as before. To engage an automatic motor mover, you need to focus on the center button here and the top two buttons here. To engage it, you use the buttons with the green arrows, green for go, so we push down the orange circle, that's the roller, green arrow button in the middle, and at the same time, the orange circle, green arrow button at the top right. Hold them down together, and as you do that, the motor mover slowly engages onto the tyre at the right pressure. To then remove the motor mover and disengage it from the tyre, with the automatic motor mover, you would push again the centre button, where you have this red arrow, red for stop, to disengage and at the same time hold down the button at the top here next to the orange roller with the red arrow to stop button here. Push those two down together until the motor mover has disengaged from the tyre electronically. Once you have your electronic auto engagement motor mover engaged or your manual actuation motor mover engaged, it's very simple to move the caravan. You need to make sure when you have not got the motor mover against the tyres, when you do not have it engaged, that you have your handbrake on. But when it comes to the time to move the motor mover using the handset, you need to make sure the handbrake is disengaged. Once the handbrake is disengaged, you can then use the arrows forwards, backwards, left and right to move the caravan around. And the picture of the caravan helps you work out which way these are. To disengage the manual motor mover, you need to turn the wrench bar the other way around so that you can then pull the wrench bar from the back of the caravan towards the front of the caravan to move the roller off of the tyre. And likewise, if you have a twin axle, you would do the opposite on the back, so you would go in the opposite direction to the direction that you do to engage it. Before you do this, it is very important to make sure that your handbrake is engaged as shown here. Once you have disengaged your motor mover and obviously your handbrake is on as well, you need to make sure that you turn off the power for the motor mover and that is as simple as turning the red key and removing it just like that. So there we go, that's how to use a power touch motor mover on your caravan. If you have any questions, do just give us a call and speak to one of the team.